Hi guys! So, as you can see, I am a uh, makeup free Nick today. I know, weird, right? But I got my hair all styled up and I'm uh, partially dressed because I'm going to teach you guys how to contour your face if you're me. Like, uh, how I personally choose to contour my face. Because I'm at the point where I'm contouring my face like every single day now. I just find it gives that like extra kick of like, hey, look, I'm all dressed up. You can do it every day, and it just it makes me look like a lot older and more mature. So I'm going to show you guys my foundation routine, and then the contouring after as well. And I'm going to show you guys how I choose and why I choose to make my face contour that way. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to be starting with my uh, Revlon Photo Ready Primer. And I'm just literally going to put that all over my face, especially in my cheek and nose area. Now once that's thoroughly rubbed in, I'm going to go to my NYC Liquid Concealer. And I, it's in the lightest shade absolutely possible. And I'm sorry, I could not find my mini mirror today, so I'm using my big mirror right over here. So if you see me leaning in there, just that's, that's where I am. So now I've put that under my eyes and in my scar zone, I'm going to move on to my foundation. For foundation, I use L'Oreal's True Match SPF 17 Liquid Cool C1 and a spongy sun. Once this is all done, I'm just going to get my big fluffy brush, and I don't actually know what brown brand of foundation powder this is, because what I do is I go out and I get the more inexpensive foundation powders and as light as they come, and those are still a bit too dark for me. So, I 40-60 it out with 60% foundation and 40% flour. So it's just a big mess of combos of them. And then I'm just using my really big London look brush. So there we go. Now that my foundation is all completely done, you can see the difference in my wonderful skin. Alright you guys, are you ready for this? So for Christmas, CJ's grandparents were nice enough to get me a makeup set, and it was from the Bay, so it's very low quality, but you know, I found a very good use for it in this palette. They actually have my correct color so what I'm going to be using is um, a little bit of that really dark one on the uh, right. Uh, mostly that bronzy, sparkly brown in the center. That is my perfect color if you've got very, very pale skin. And a little bit of that last one for a highlight to really bring it out. And I'm also going to be using some of that sparkly white in there. As for tools, what I'm using is this brush. It is from EcoTools. Really, really crappy brand. It's like the very cheapest you can get for brushes. I, again, I got this for Christmas like three years ago. It has not uh, failed me yet. So what I have here is, uh, well, I was just a fan brush for this. I just squish it out and use it like this. So what I'm going to do is squishing that out and running it along the center of that brown and just blowing out the extra. And then I take my face, and a good way, I don't have to do this anymore, but a good way to find out where your line should be is do a fish face. And then you can see exactly where your lines are supposed to be. And if you have particularly chubby cheeks like me, you're going to want to start doing that until you get the hang of it. So otherwise, it can start to look really weird. So what I'm going to do is just take this and run it along there until I get a nice contour. And then I'll do that exact same thing on the other side. Now, as you can see, those are really harsh, right? So I'm going to completely clean off my brush onto my PJs until it's nice and clean again, and just blend that out. Big circles in the fluffy brush. Which is why I particularly love the fluffy, the fluffy brush sorry, versus a uh, fan brush. Because you'd need two anyway for this. Now that is looking particularly bad. Uh, another good reason why I switched to using a sponge for my foundation is you could just sponge a little bit over that. Now I'm going to take that light pink on the side there and use that as a highlighter right above where I made that as my blusher. I'm not a huge fan of blusher because I like my uh, skin pale, so I'm just doing a little bit of it. Now what I'm going to be doing with my contouring is um, I'm going to be taking again that middle brown color 
I'm just running it underneath my nose here because I really like my nose to stand out. Just underneath the nostrils, underneath the tip, and a little bit into my nostrils. Now that looks really freaking harsh, right? So I just blend it out with my finger until it starts to look normal again. Now I did do a little bit too much. So I'm going to take my little spongy and just... And there, it's perfect. Now my nose stands out extra much so that people can really tell that I've got a big nose. Because I don't know, I like highlighting that. Other common areas on your nose that people like to highlight is your bridge. And right along the sides here, especially if you've got a very undefined nose. But as you can see, I've got quite a big nose, so I don't like to do that. And one last area that I contour again with that middle brown color. I usually stay the darker color for like right in here. But because I just go underneath my lip to create a big pout. There, and instantly our lips look extra pouty. So, yeah, and then if you really wanted to, you can also do a little bit in the top here. But I usually only do that if we're wearing a dark color lipstick, which I will be later today. Okay, I hope that, guys, I hope that helps out you guys. If you uh, like this, give it a like. And if you super like me, subscribe. And I'm going to probably be putting up a makeup tutorial today. I'm not entirely sure. Um, please don't seem like it's subscribe. Okay, bye guys.